Hello everybody, this is Katerina. Welcome to my Katya Beauty Style channel. And today I create easy natural look for work. I will say like after 40, this is perfect look every day, work day, whenever. Doesn't matter. It's very beautiful. It's very natural. You see me before and after. Yes? huge difference only few steps i will show you how to create this look in this video i will share all the secret to make your skin look glowing yan cover if you have any pigmentation discoloration and most important i will save you time 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 if you're new to my youtube channel my name katerina i'm more than 20 years makeup artist at nordstrom tampa i teach you how to real woman to look beautiful and young and again this is its video how to look young and beautiful uh, after 40 and get ready for work love you more than ice cream and let's start First item, which one I'm going to use, it's a moisturizer. This is sample from brand Vanny Cream. It's for sensitive skin because my skin, it's really, really sensitive. You won't moisturize your skin because if your skin dry, if your skin have a little bit texture, foundation or your tinted moisturizer going to sit on top and it's not going to look good. First step, moisturizer. And same moisturizer I can use for face and for eyes. One more time, I want you to see my skin. I have pigmentation. I have melasma. Look at this. My sun scratched me right here. But I'm going to show you in this video how in 15 minutes, Minutes. I'm not gonna lie to you five minutes no, you can do this in 10 minutes but like it's good to take 15 minutes where you're gonna look amazing and fabulous every day second my item I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter some people use this is a foundation some is a primer some illuminating but it's spring I want my skin to look glow and even and I will apply on the entire my face And I want you to look at one my side, what's going to happen. Look how beautiful and glowing my skin compared to this side. I do like my skin. It's beautiful, right? But we're not yet done. My lips a little bit dry. I'm going to use lip balm from Chanel Color Warm. I'm going to apply on my lips because, again, I want my lips to look plumpy and hydrating. Now I'm going to use foundation from brand Yensa. It's a serum and foundation together. And my color, I believe, light medium. It's medium to full coverage. And today I'm going to use only beauty blender. Remember, we don't have this 30 minutes or one hour. We have 10 to 15 minutes with you. And now look at one my side and another. Ooh, it's a good coverage. My skin looks good, but you know what? Because I'm really, really in a hurry, I put in some area too much where I don't need much cover. I turn my sponge and I know this is where my good skin. And I am absorbing foundation. I don't need much right here. I don't need much foundation right here i don't need much foundation where is my nose i don't need much foundation right here i knew in the center or right here right here this is where i need more foundation but for rest of my skin or oh, face sorry not also i have a little bit left foundation i must put a little bit foundation on my eyelid and i will go under my eyes i already look beautiful right by the way, this is, I feel like it's important piece. You can use any like hairband or anything to pull your hair because you can see 
whole new face it's already kind of looks like lifted and it's just much more easy to work concealer i'm gonna use concealer right now from brand Giorgio Armani number five and I'm gonna put a little bit right here little bit right here we need extra lift remember we're not doing like whole whole like 30 minutes routine but we want to look young and fresh I'm using Sam Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna use this blender under my eyes and I push and concealer up for lift my face. I have plan I'm melting my concealer right here in the corner. Now I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Highlighter and I'm gonna use Sam Beauty Blender. And you can see I apply just like in this area. It will give me a nice, beautiful glow. Now I'm going to use cream blush from Charlotte Tilbury color Pink Pop. And we're going to use again same beauty blender. Just very, very little I apply. And you see how it bounce, 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 bounce. very very natural it's not heavy it's perfect for the work i usually work seven to nine hours at nordstrom tempa and i want my makeup stay all day long i'm gonna use this as samples is chanel powder but this is my favorite like a sheer sheer powder it's a la beige um, healthy glow number 10 and i have a big brush i must set my foundation because if you're not gonna do this your skin absorbing after one hour or two your foundation moving or your skin absorbing and i do not have time to retouch and after powder you can still see how my skin glowing it's not mud it looks beautiful next step i actually forgot to do this i should done this before but it's okay, you're not makeup artist, right? You don't care all the step. Most important is to work these products. I'm gonna use my beauty blender and it's still slightly little bit wet. I'm gonna put this powder a little bit. You don't even see in here. And I'm just gonna set my concealer. Now I'm gonna use my favorite eyeshadow primer from MAC Penterly. You can see it's a very neutral color and I'm gonna apply on the entire my eyelid. A lot of makeup artists, they just use foundation. When you're young, it's okay, but I feel when you're older and if you use just foundation or concealer on your eyelid and then eyeshadow, it will crease, it will crease. This is why I like to use primer and you can see it's a very, very natural, natural uh, color. Same powder brush, I'm gonna put a little bit powder and I'm just gonna set my eyeshadow primer. And now I'm gonna use again, I'm in love with this palette, it's just like everyday palette from Chanel. It's limited edition, $90, but you can use for face, for eyes, it's just so multiple palette. Okay, we're gonna use right now just this beautiful like a peachy orangey color. And I use a big blending brush. I'm gonna put a little bit of this product on my hand and now I'm gonna apply this color above my circle area. Here it's a circle area. So you see this packet we're applying little bit higher again you can apply this brush and it's a big blending brush or if you have a blush brush you can do it you can just put a little bit right here and just try to push product up 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 again same color i'm gonna put slightly on my brush and i actually gonna apply right here on my low eyelid very softly 
skin so far we have only one color with you we apply on low lid and upper lid now i'm gonna use this bronze very little and i'm gonna apply underneath Oh, it's coming something very, very important. I will suggest everyone after 40 <laughs> to do this. Very natural look, very simple look. We have a little bit shimmer here, but you can use any of your blush, any of your like shimmer eyeshadow, and I'm gonna apply slightly little bit right here on center. And I push in this like little shimmer eyeshadow up okay now it's time to do eyebrows i'm gonna use a vital lash brow tint color soft brown and how i'm gonna apply i'm gonna have a color here i'm just actually gonna apply this way and i'm gonna apply a few times I'm gonna let this sit for one minute. Okay, one minute, and now I'm gonna go one more time, and I push in my brows a little bit, little bit up, and I want you to see one side and another side, because I feel eyebrows make huge, huge difference. Okay, just one eye and another eye. It looks a little bit tired and um, old and this is it's a little bit light, lifted more like pop okay now let's do another brow and to finish this look it's very important to use lush curler Look at my one eye where I curl my lashes and where it's not. This is, it's lifted, it's open. After 40, if you not want to go to see surgeon, this is your best tool. And now it's time to use mascara. Today I'm going to use Gucci mascara. I love this brush. Your lashes looks natural, good, good separation. And of course, my favorite mirror, Simply Human. Girls, you must have. Because when you apply an eyeliner or mascara, you can see how your mascara goes how your lashes look look at how beautiful my lashes beautiful 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 and in the bottom i'm gonna use actually trish mccoy mascara because i have issues sometimes mascara runs on me and i will also will put one more coat of trish mccoy mascara on top and this is trish mccoy high volume mascara very small tiny brush Mascara make a big, big difference, right? Okay, let me do another eye. I feel very young, very fresh. You saw me before and after. It's huge, huge difference. You saw old lady with bad skin and now young lady with good skin, right? <laughs> Sorry, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please support me. Just right there. Click it. It's kind of... I'm working for you, right? For free. <laughs> Love you more than ice cream. Okay, let's use some lipstick. I remove my lip balm from Chanel for one reason because I know when I'm going to work, I'm gonna use Chanel lip stain. Sorry, 99% or MAC is the one I like it, but today I'm gonna use Color Tender because all day long this lipstick will stay on my lips. It's pretty neutral color, and here it's color, and here we have a uh, um just clear lip gloss and um pam 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 uh, tender beige number number 69 and i will use some waterproof lip liner from um brand estee lauder and what i'm gonna do with my lips i'm not gonna start from corner i'm gonna start from center and center right here and then and then i will uh, feel my lips rest with this lip liner And now I'm going to use tender beige color. 
I like this lip color because it's almost close to my natural lip color, but slightly little bit more color, very little. But my, make my lips very full, very pretty, very sexy. We need to let this dry for one or two minutes. And you know what? I feel this is pretty. I like it, but I'm missing highlighter. I want a little bit highlighter. For highlighter, I'm gonna use Brand Mark. It's my favorite, favorite palette. We have lighter color, we have like a pink in color, we have a bronze color, and I'm gonna use lighter color under my brow and the corner of my eyes, and then we're gonna use middle color, a little bit more right here. clear lip gloss and we're done okay girls no one woman not pretty we're all beautiful and gorgeous i need to run i will see you in nordstrom tampa okay love you more than ice cream please subscribe comments below and let me know what product you want me to review or what uh, look you want me to create for you this is it's an easy look for everyday work it can be also like a mom's look everyday look work look it's all about to look beautiful in yarn without plastic surgeon <laughs>